Miss Montana is the first ever contestant diagnosed with autism, and she's also this year's youngest contestant. And as you're about to see, she's not letting any adversity keep her from her dream. In a competition filled with smiles, struts, and sass, the reigning Miss Montana looks like she fits right in. It just you can hit me that. Holy, holy crap, I'm in Miss America. But fitting in has never been easy for 18-year-old Alexis Weinman. Growing up, I was a lone all. I didn't, I, I barely hung out with anyone. And that's because I was afraid of being laughed at. She is the first Miss America contestant to be diagnosed with autism, which was discovered when she was just 11 years old. I would stay in my room for hours, not just wanting to talk to anyone. Even though she was considered highly functioning, she says she was ridiculed because of her speech impediment and intense shyness. The girl you're seeing right now is not the same girl you would have saw 10 years ago. I have overcome so many of my symptoms. She credits her family with enabling her to become comfortable in her own skin. That new attitude allowed her to try new things like cross-country running and cheerleading, where she even became the captain of the team her senior year. Events like this may have appeared a world away, but like everything else in her life, Alexis never considered them out of reach. So she decided to enter the Miss Montana stage competition on a whim. I realized I've done a lot of things I never thought I'd be able to do. What's stopping me from at least trying? Miss Montana. And now here she is in Las Vegas, ready to compete with the best of them. Frankly, all this confusion has kind of made me hungry. <laughs> Her talent, a comedy routine. I realized, if I laugh at myself, then that's okay. Alexis, no matter what happens tomorrow night, Alexis hopes just by competing, she is inspiring others. A girl who has a few differences is Miss America material, no matter what they are.